Yes, cool, okay. Um, so I would mark it out, and um, after you cut it, you gotta clean up the edges, and then it's um, trim, fit, trim, fit, trim, fit, bend then you can maybe start to weld it. That is the longest part of the process. Um, the cutting out and everything, you feel like, okay, I'm getting ahead of steam, I'm good, we're, we're making progress. And then when you actually go to fit the piece, it can get really tedious and frustrating because you have to grind this spot and then this spot and then that one because it's just a little not straight just because of cutting tools and things. So um, it takes time, but the time spent doing the trimming and the panel prep is going to save you in the long run. So don't don't go too fast. Dep depends on to physically make the panel or to get it to fit. <laughs> depends. Something like this. Um, I had it, because of how messy the panel was that I was replaced, like the actual fender, that took the longest to clean up because I had to clean up inner structure and things like that. So if I just go from when I cut it out to made it, to fit it, to ready to weld, two and a half, three hours, but it's flat. It wasn't curved, so I wasn't doing, I mean, all I had to do was break one little bend and drill some holes. Which for that, it's really nice if you have a pneumatic spot weld cutter because you're just punching holes. It's awesome. So get one if you don't have one. Um, but yeah, this. What my wife <laughs> Christmas? <laughs> Christmas, I would say. I was that wife for a long time, and then I took over metal. And see, what you need to do is you need to teach her how to how to work metal, and then she'll be like, I need my own toolbox and all my own tools, because that's kind of what happened to me, and now I'm always bringing tools home, and he's going, why do you have that? I'm like, because I wanted it. <laughs> so teach her, to, teach her to weld. That's my advice. <laughs>